Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I am going to be vlogging. Um, this is going to be my first time vlogging. I've tried vlogging a few times before this. It didn't work out, but I'm starting this vlog off pretty late. I'm not really going to be doing vlogmas. I just want to vlog like in general, just see how it goes within time. Um, so if I'm a little bit nervous or weird, it's just I'm not used to filming my everyday life like this. So yeah today um we're gonna be super busy okay i already went to walmart i should have took y'all but i didn't want to go in there and have everybody looking at me so we already went to walmart and we got a few things let me show you guys what we got because we got a lot of stuff to, to be honest um i got like a few makeup products and um christmas decorations and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna show y'all real quick i'm in my backyard y'all are wondering let's just go so we just got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we're gonna get a dog, like I said in my last video, but if you're new to my channel, then I'm just gonna update y'all. I am gonna be getting a Siberian Husky pretty soon. Uh, it's a girl, obviously. I mean, well, if y'all don't know, it's a girl. But yeah, so we just got a little dog bed. And then, it never focuses. And then we also have a dog cage and we just got the large one for now just because it's going to take a while for her to actually grow a bigger. So I'm thinking it may take like, I don't know, six months, a year, right? Yeah, about six months. So yeah, we just got the large for right now. We actually put the deposit down um, next Friday and then we'll get her the week after because she wants us to wait the full six weeks and um, she's gonna take her to go get her shots and all that type of stuff so i'm guessing she just wants us to wait for just to make sure she's all good and everything before we actually pay the full amount for her and everything like that so yeah um we're just starting off slow with the dog stuff just because i don't know we're just gonna do that so put this back right here the other things that we got for the dog which her name's gonna be Margo, by the way, okay? Um, the other things that we got, we got some dog food. We just got this brand for right now because honestly, this is our first dog. Uh, we've had dogs when we were little, obviously, but you know, like we don't really know what she'll like. So we're just gonna try this flavor out and then we'll probably go and get her a much better brand of dog food, to be honest. Then we got her a little mat for her little dog bowls. Oops. Just to go on like that. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we got for right now. We're, we still have to go and get her a lot more stuff. Um, since it is, what's today, December 5th? Since it is December 5th. Um, what was I gonna say? Today is December 5th, so. Oh, we're probably gonna get her on like Christmas. Around the, around Christmas time for sure. And then, let me just sit down and prop y'all up real quick. All right, so for the next couple of things that we got, we got some Christmas lights, 110 and a half feet, just because we don't know how big the house is. Like we, this is our first place, so we just really moved in like nine or 10 months ago. I should vlog like a little home tour, but we'll see about that. And then we got more 54 foot. Uh, we got the multicolor ones just because we have a son and we like to make him happy. He picked those up, by the way. Then my son wanted um, a Santa hat. He got green. I like green. It's really cute because uh, we're going to be having a Christmas party on Christmas Day and our whole family is going to be coming. This is our first party that we're going to be hosting this year. So uh, our whole family's gonna come and we're gonna decorate and all that. And everybody's supposed to be wearing Christmas pajamas or ugly Christmas sweaters. So hopefully they actually do it. You know what I mean? Never know, they might not. And then we got some more ornaments. I believe that these are glass. Are these glass ornaments? Yeah. They're glass ornaments. I don't wanna take them out. Um, but we got one that says dad. And it says, a dad is someone you look up to no matter how tall you grow. That's so cute. It's like a little haul. I'm doing a little haul right now. Okay, I haven't shot like this in a while. And then we got one that says, mom, this one's really pretty. And it actually has like glitter in it. I don't know if I can see that. 
And then this one says, first my mother, always my friend, forever together, our love never ends. When I read that, I almost cried. I'm not even gonna lie. We got some candles because I have, I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit like all my decorations and stuff because I'm not done decorating the tree, which I thought I was, but when I went to Walmart today, I was like, I need more. I need more decorations, you know what I mean? So we got some candles here. Um, cause we're not really able to put our, um, to turn on our, what is it called? Fireplace. Sorry. <laughs> we're not able to turn on our fireplace. I guess she said, well, when we asked the landlord, she said it's because, um, we need to clean it out or get somebody to clean it out. But we're only here for like another month and a half. So there's, I'm, we're not, gonna, I'm not going to pay no money to do that. So I'm just gonna put these in the fireplace and light them up. Um, it's much safer in there anyway, since it's the fireplace. And just make it seem as if it's actually on when it's not on. Hack. So yeah, we got some of these. Let's work. I got some more tinsel because I had gold tinsel. I don't know how, but they kind of disappeared. I got some silver tinsel just to throw in some other type of color. Some more silver beads because I don't know if y'all can tell. I have gold beads on the tree right now, but I wanted, well, my boyfriend wanted silver on there, so we're gonna put silver. More silver beads. And I'm gonna let y'all watch me decorate here in a little bit. Um, just because, put them back. So I got some garland that I was gonna put under the TV uh, and then wrap some little lights around them, you know, those little battery operated lights because I thought those were really cute. And I took the lights back because I was like, why do I need the lights? I need to the lights. And then I got some of this um, bow material. I seen my aunt, my Thea, uh, I went to her house yesterday to go pick up a projector and she actually had like really cute details on her tree. Um, I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit when I get done doing this. But she had it like tucked in going downwards vertical so i thought that was really cute so i got some gold ones right here and also got some more to be honest. i got two different colors i'm going for more of a traditional christmas that's just my vibe this year well every year to be honest i really do like um a traditional christmas theme because that's how i was raised um i got more because i'm going to be putting two different colors in them and then I got a whole bunch of makeup stuff just because uh, I'm going to record a full face of drugstore makeup or it's going to be mostly e.l.f. products because I like e.l.f. but I just got just a whole bunch of different products from them so hopefully this stuff actually works out but I'm not going to swatch it right now because I'm going to be doing a video on that so stay tuned for that because it's going to come probably on Wednesday but Y'all probably see this video. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and then I have another ornament. Um, this one's for our sun. It just says sun on it. And then it says sons grow into men and outgrow their their toys, but in the hearts of their moms, they are still little boys. That's cute. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys the, what are those called? Inflatables? Yeah. Moonwalks? Inflatables. Inflatables uh, that our son picked up because he wanted them. Uh, we went to go see the Christmas lights last night and their houses were really decked out in lights. So he was like, y'all need to decorate. Let me show you. So yeah, we got a Santa Claus and then we got this one that says Season of Joy. So that's what we got.
already put the beads on. I'm going to show you all like a super up close visual of the whole thing and everything. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put the silver tinsel on. Now when I was little, my mom always used to put tinsel on the tree. I never really see anybody put tinsel on their trees like they used to. I'm guessing just because of the whole aesthetic of everything. Um, but, which I mean, I think the aesthetic is cute to be honest. But maybe if my son was just a little bit older, then I would do it, you know. But he's still very young and I really do want to keep Christmas super traditional for him in every way possible. So, I'm just going to throw on some tinsel. And I already have a little bit of gold in there. I really don't care, like, where I put it on, to be honest. I want the tree to be super, like, super full and really nice, like, really pretty. Just because when we have our family over for... Christmas, they're able to take pictures with their kids and all that, and we have a lot of family, so there's going to be a lot of people. Okay, so here is the Christmas tree all done. I didn't get putting the red and green one on because my camera overheated. So if y'all want a vlogging camera, don't get the Sony A5100. So it actually sucks. But yeah, so I just put the um, ribbon on and everything. I got gold, just like regular gold ribbon. And then I also got this red and green plaid one. So here's the tree done. For the garland there on the ground, I'm probably going to put some more of the ribbon on there. I'm just going to make bows out of them. But yeah, here's the tree right here. Um, so the tree I got from Michaels because I was supposed to tell you all where I got everything from. I got the whole tree from Michaels. It was about $170. It was $169, so like $170, $180. Um, and then I got the skirt from Target. Um, of course, the ribbon and everything from walmart also got the train set from walmart it doesn't have any batteries right now i have to go and get some batteries for it but yeah this is the train set actually goes on the tree so it's actually attached to the tree in the middle and then all of my ornaments i got over the years are all from walmart and i have most of them are glass ornaments so like the gold ones and these and the white ones and everything are all glass ornaments so yeah I even got the star up there from Walmart too and that's my son's elf that we have to move so this is the tree okay so now for the fireplace and everything um, I still have to clean up all of this stuff right here we're, we're not done cleaning this area but for the fireplace I got all of the stockings except for this one from Target so this one this one and this one are from Target this one right here is from Walmart my mother-in-law actually gave that to my son so I'm just gonna keep it just because it's super decked out in all types of stuff and I think it's really cute and I don't know where she got this from but it's really nice so I got the garland from Walmart also and then I just put a whole bunch of plastic ornaments on there because I didn't want them to possibly fall and break and then I got all these trees and stuff from Walmart the little snowman and this thing right here from Walmart and then this is actually my brother's um, my grandpa threw it in the trash last year so I'm guessing my brother didn't want it so I took it out and I saved it because it was literally about to get taken um, but I'm guessing this is from Target because I looked at the price tag and it looked like a Target price tag it was actually $30 so yeah, I thought that was really cute to go with my traditional Christmas theme. And then just down here, I have this little red and black plaid deer. This little concrete thing. This cute little thing. I accidentally dropped it and some of it kind of broke off. And I got that. Super pretty. 
And then I also have this um, day counter, but it's not right. It's actually 19 days. One, nine, okay. So yeah, uh, most of my stuff I got from Walmart. And since this is our first place, I wanted to just slowly get stuff every year because we move out of this place in a month and a half, two months. So we're gonna be um, moving into like maybe a smaller place because this house is just way too big for us to be honest, it's really big. And hopefully save our money and put a down payment on a place. So yeah, we already got that done. Um, do you want to go outside and do the lights now? Yeah, we can go do that. We're going to go outside and do the lights, and then later on, I am going to be doing the garland so I could put it under my TV, because this is just like where our whole living room space is. Let me show you guys. It's super dirty right now, but our living room space, couch, everything. So yeah, since we can't really turn on the fireplace, I just decided to put my whole little entertainment center right there. And then fireplace, Christmas tree, back door. So, okay, we're gonna go and do the lights and everything and then I'll set you guys up so y'all can see that if y'all want, I don't know. What's up everybody, it is now the next day. It's morning time, I'm getting ready and I'm about to do my skincare. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my skincare real quick before I actually do any of it, just so y'all know like what I use and everything. So yeah, one second. Okay, so first things first, I always start off with warm water. Just because I don't like it when it's super cold or when it's really hot. If it's really hot, then it ends up like drying out my skin. And I already have really dry skin as is. And like I said in my last videos, um, I've been having a lot of breakouts because of the Curology um, serum that I was using for my breakout specifically. So I stopped using that. Now I'm just using the cleanser, which is that. It's just a regular little cleanser. And I just take about that much of it. Just wash my face. I do exfoliate. I don't exfoliate every day. Um, I probably do it at least two times a week. And I'll do that with like this little face wash cleanser thing that I have. Um, you can use any one that you want. It's up to you. But I like to use my fingers on just a day-to-day -day basis. My hands are clean, by the way. And I'll sit here for like a whole minute and wash my face. I don't really do my skincare routine every single day. I like to give my skin a break. But that is just me. If y'all want to do it every day, that's fine. But yeah. And I like to pat dry. I don't really like to scrub my face. Because like I said, I just, I'm like really dry already. And scrubbing my face just makes it really, really dry. I don't like that. Okay, so now that we're done with that step, um... If I had makeup on, I would have double cleansed, but I don't have makeup on today, and I know my skin is clean since I washed it last night. I just went ahead and I washed it again after I showered. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Keep Your Balance Toner. And really, this stuff smells really good. If you want, you can apply it with one of the little cotton pads. Uh, I don't have any of those left, so I just take a little bit in my hand, and then I'll just go ahead and put it on my face and I always get my neck too and it smells really good that's why I like this it smells so good and I get in my hairline too because that's where I get some of my breakouts at in my hairline Okay, so now for serum, I don't really have like a specific serum that I go in with. I've just been using this um, Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. 
this is what I use right here and really this is really really good um, it's super thick and it's just really I don't know if y'all can see that but it gives your skin a lot of moisture especially if you're really um, dry like I am so I like to put that on always after toner and I'll literally just put it everywhere And on days that I'm actually exfoliating, if I do like an actual physical exfoliator, then I'll go ahead and do that. I don't really like that on my skin because I notice that I break out a lot when I physically exfoliate. So what I like to do nowadays is I like to chemical exfoliate. And for that, I use the Ordinary brand also, which happens to be this one, the Lactic Acid 10% plus HA. And that one's not as strong as this one right here, which is the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2%. This one you only leave on for 10 minutes. And then this one, the Lactic Acid, you leave on all night. I usually do it at nighttime. Either one of these, but never at the same time or on the same day. It's always different days. I alternate these right here, but they're really, really good. And I've noticed it's been helping me with my dark spots, though I just I keep on picking at my skin. I need to stop. I need to stop okay so yeah but now I'm actually gonna go in with my Curology the rich moisturizer like I said this and the cleanser doesn't break me out it's just the um, the serum the serum breaks me out a lot I don't know why it's supposed to help with acne but it's actually it actually breaks me out so I'm just gonna put this on my face and it's really thick especially for my dry skin it helps out a lot and I actually have like a little membership with Curology um, though if they can just send me the cleanser and the moisturizer I'll be fine or maybe I just need to get like a whole new serum in all but I don't know we'll see about that we'll see okay so skincare is done this actually has like a filter over it um, my skin really doesn't look this smooth in real life, but skincare is done. Looks really good. I'm getting the light a little bit. Don't mind that. I pick up my skin a lot, but yeah. Even without the whole filter thing, it actually looks really nice and like smooth. So now that we're done with skincare, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my whole house before we leave. We're going to actually get some food from Chipotle today. We've never tried it, so I'm going to vlog that, of course. And then at the end of the day, I might just, like, be done with the whole vlog and then post it tomorrow, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I have to actually post another video. So, yeah. And go and take y'all clean with me. I don't know, this car is just getting smaller and smaller to me. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's not even funny. 
All right. This car well, is like. Are you ready for the Q and A? How the heck you? They ask you questions. No, they're not asking me questions. I just wanted to tell them. What? Like. Like what you mean? Like a little story time of how we got together. Okay. But okay. you're not in the video, so don't think you are. Damn. Okay, so we got our Chipotle. <laughs> No, it was the other person. And we're basically doing like a little mukbang. Hopefully they can see it. I don't really know if they can. They it looks can. dark, doesn't it? I don't know. It does it a little bit. Here, let's see. If I maybe zoom in or something? Or no. Like that. Hmm. Okay. So we're doing a little mukbang or whatever. And we got our um, Chipotle burritos. This one has, oh, I see you already took a bite of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm hungry. Why? What'd you put in yours and that one? Mozzarella. So we've never tried Chipotle before. And I wanted to do like a little story time. Whoops. Uh, but basically how we got together. I'll post like a picture of how my boyfriend looks if you don't know which I'm pretty sure most of y'all know who he is and how he looks like um, because he don't want to be on video nope but let me try this first mm. is it good? I don't know I haven't even tasted the meat yet I just I know, literally my first ate nothing but rice guacamole. And rice and what is that? Mm. Spinach? <laughs> it's good. Oh. So I got mine, well actually I got both. Yeah. With um, I don't like chicken, masks. pinto beans, white rice, guacamole, pico de gallo. This one has mozzarella and lettuce. His doesn't have mozzarella because I, that was supposed to be mine. That was supposed to be yours. But it's okay. <clears throat> um, but I wanted to do a little story time of how I met my boyfriend. But first, I just, I'm hungry. It was pretty big burrito. <laughs> yeah. What kind of fries is that? Mazda? Mm -hmm. A what? A Mazda. It, it looked like it said Mazda on the back. No. Anyway, so how we met was actually through my brother and his sister. They were together for a while before we were. Um, and I always used to go with my dad to drop off my little brother at his house, which I didn't even think that that was my little brother's girlfriend's brother. I thought that that was like maybe a friend of her other brother's. That makes any sense i don't know why i feel like i'm i'm getting nervous even telling this story i don't know is that weird just tell it <laughs> it's like so not really personal but it's personal um but we met well actually we didn't meet i used to go over there all the time to go drop him off and i always used to see him and i'm like dang <coughs> like he looks so <coughs> nice looking like Excuse he looks me. Fine, okay. He still is. But <laughs> um <coughs> I was just like really nervous to even bless you like four times. Okay. I had to brighten up the camera. Anyways, now that you can see me way better, what I was saying was You really can. I know, right? <laughs> what I was saying was, um, I used to go over there all the time and drop off my brother and everything like that. And I actually told my little brother that I had like a really big crush on my now boyfriend. And he told me, well, if you want to get with somebody like that, you need to change the way you look because I dressed like a little thug back then. I used to wear like the basketball shorts and the spaghetti straps and, you know, like the snapback hats and all that. Like I was pretty tomboyish, but like girly at the same time in a way and he told me that he wouldn't be into girls like that so literally like that weekend 
I went out to go and get new clothes. Dang. I'm not even lying to you. Raymond used to fucking, he used <laughs> to be mean. <laughs> and then? And then I'm just gonna buy my bill. And then I went out, bought new clothes and everything, and that weekend happened to be a fair. Like a, y'all know what a fair is. You ride the rides. And I went with my little brother, of course, and everything. We got all dressed up and whatnot to go to the fair, because that's just how it was. Y'all know how it used to be back in the day. Um, and I happened to see him there, but he didn't notice me at all. He didn't even know who I was. He didn't even say hi to me. He just kept his hands in his pockets the whole time. I don't even think he talked. He just told my little brother hi. That was it. So the whole time, you know, I literally like looked for I literally looked for you on Facebook like so many times. But I didn't know that your last name happened to start happened to be a whole other last name than his sisters, his sister and his older brother have different last names and him and his twin sister have the same last name. Obviously they're twins. So I used to look him up by another last name and I couldn't find him. So I literally like just gave up looking for him. Well, you know, a couple months go by and everything and I happen to go to this party because I used to be friends with a lot of his friends because he lived in a whole other town than me. So I used to be friends with a lot of his friends and they invited me to a little house party and I went and I invited one of my friends with the friend that I used to hang around with was like crazy and like to fight everybody and whatnot, which I don't know why I even took her. Well, then that night we're there and he asked me to play beer pong. <clears throat> Is the AMC open? Mm-hmm. I mean, they're showing movies. They are. Your mom literally been to see a movie like five times already. And I didn't know. But anyway, so he asked me to play beer pong and everything like that. My friend so happened to be cock blocking that night. At least that's what I'm going to call it because I don't have another word for it. If you do, then use that word. But she was doing that to me. And even though I had like a big crush on him and everything... He was like really, you were like really all up on me that night. He asked me to take a shot like five times and I kept on telling him no. Mm. But she ended up getting into a fight with some of his friends and we had to leave. So I didn't see him for a while. And since my brother and his sister were still together, um, I was like stalking my brother's girlfriend on Facebook trying to see if she had posted anything. Cause I, by this time I was living in Dallas and he was still living in his hometown and everything. And I was just like, let me just see how my brother's doing. I haven't talked to him for a while. And I'm like stalking my brother's girlfriend and everything. And I finally find out his last name is different. I literally find out that day when I was in Dallas. So I was like, you know what? I live in a whole other town. I'm not embarrassed or whatever. Let me go ahead and send him a little friend request. Um, I sent him a friend request and that night I so happened to get like a tattoo or whatever on the back of my neck. I have a tattoo back there. I know a lot of y'all don't see me from the back, but I have a tattoo on the back of my neck. And, um, when I sent him the friend request, he happened to accept it and everything. And he ended up commenting on the picture of my tattoo, but it wasn't even of the tattoo. Do you remember what it was up? <clears throat> no. Man, mm. you don't remember nothing. That kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> what was it about? I forgot. Well, when I took the picture, my mom had took the picture for me, and in the background was like a box of cereals, like a crap load of boxes of cereals, and he Typical didn't Mexican. even say, yeah, he didn't even say, oh, I like your tattoo. He said, those cereals in the background look good, or they are good. Those like go hard or something, right? And I was like, yeah, they do. And literally not even like four days into us messaging, which I was so happy about because I looked at all your pictures. Like I stalked his whole Facebook 
and all of his pictures were just I literally printed some of them out and I hung them on my wall four days into it um, I was still living in Dallas and he so happened and just asked me to be his girlfriend and I was so excited I woke up my mom out of her sleep and I was like he asked me he asked me to be his girlfriend and literally we've been together ever since then like we're about to be together for nine years in May 2021 and we have a seven-year-old son who's gonna be eight in June 2021 so yeah that is basically how we got together.